Wow, you really are good at this. Well, I've spent a lot of time painting D&D miniatures. I know that makes you want to rip my shirt off, but wait until your nails are dry. Oh, it's Raj. He sent us that Indian marriage questionnaire. Ooh, read one. Okay. How religious are you? That's easy, both of us, not at all. Well, I would say not at all. I mean, I'm pretty spiritual. I do go to yoga. Great. So your church is Our Lady of the Stretchy Pants. <laughs> Next question. Uh, how close are you with your family? Pretty close. I'm gonna say not too close, but I'm hoping to get farther. <laughs> how do you feel about children? Uh, they're okay, I guess. I mean, if I saw one, I wouldn't throw a rock at it. <laughs> Why, why would you throw a rock at a child? I just said I wouldn't. Hey, mind if I sit? Did you just come here to tell me I'm making a gigantic mistake by having this blueberry muffin and I should have got a cinnamon roll like you did? No. Good, because I'm happy with my choice. Although that cinnamon roll does smell good if you open to have these. Fine. Thanks. Look, I'm sorry about yesterday. You're right. I, I was. Oh my God, that is so good. <laughs> I can wait. So Penny, we were talking to our neighbors, and they're thinking of moving and selling their house. Really? Why? Something about babies crying and keeping them up all night's not important. You guys should totally take a look at it. <laughs> then we can be neighbors. Hey, wait a minute. What about us? I mean, we're married now. Maybe we want to buy the house next door. Well, Amy, we can't move. I'd have to change all the tags in my underwear. <laughs> you can buy new ones. What, new house, new underwear. What am I, the witness protection program? <laughs> OK, guys, so what do you think? I don't know. We're pretty happy here. Yeah, plus if we moved, we'd probably just get a loft downtown. Really? I always figured we'd get a place with a yard. Oh, sure, yeah, that makes sense. You could shoot hoops and mow the lawn. <laughs> How are you two married? <laughs> you were there, I wore her down. He did. <laughs> you guys should have talked about all this stuff while you were dating. I mean, me and Anu already know so much about each other. Wait, I forget, is Anu your waxer? Uh, no, that's Annette. Anu is the woman my father fixed me up with. We're going on our first date tomorrow. Which reminds me, I need to see Annette. You're really letting your father pick out a wife? Why not? Arranged marriages have been working for thousands of years. Anu and I come from similar backgrounds. Our families get along. And we each fill out questionnaires so we know we're not wasting our time with someone who's not compatible. Oh, that sounds so dry and clinical. You lucky duck. I just don't think you can truly know someone until you've spent a lot of time with them. Really? What's Penny's dream vacation? Uh... Malibu Beach House. That's Barbie's dream vacation. Maybe you should send us that questionnaire.